How's it going guys? I'm getting ready to paint the quarter panel on the car today. Uh, so we got to pull the door off and I think I'm, I think I might try and paint the underside of the door while I do the quarter panel. I might not. Um, it makes sense if I did that way I can paint the door tomorrow or something. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I got to do right now, finish prepping the quarter panel, uh, prep the door jam, prep the back side of the door. And uh, once I do all that, then I just got to mask it all up and get the thing painted. So let's get started. So really all we got to do here is just finish scuffing some of the spots, you know, around the edges. Um, get this taped off, get that scuffed around. Um, same thing here, get this, get this all taped up. Uh, get the door taken off. Okay, so while I was over here uh, working on the door, I had this door sill off. And it's, it was in pretty rough shape. Uh, all of this was kind of down to bare metal, so I put one coat of etching primer on it. Then I'm going to put a coat of regular uh, high build primer on it. And then after I do that, I'm going to go over the whole thing with some trim black. And uh, hopefully it'll match uh, the rest of the trim and it'll look good as new. And it won't look all peeled anymore. The door is finally off now. Uh, and the only issue in this whole door jam at all is right up here where the weather stripping bolts in. Uh, underneath the weather stripping there was some surface rust here. I sanded it down with 80 grit and you know got it down to bare metal but just as a precaution I put some rust converter on it then I'll hit it with uh, etching primer and then regular primer and then uh, I'm just going to spray some, some flat black or something over it because I'm actually cutting off where I paint the quarter panel right here like I did on the last uh, the last one same with you know I'll probably cut it off like over here somewhere um, probably like right here or something like I did on the other side. Um, and I'll show you on the other side that it's no problem at all. Look at all the dust on this thing. This is, this is awful. Um, on the other side, you don't see any of that. Um, the little bit of silver you see here is actually from the trim panel. This is a metal bracket. So you're seeing that. I can't really open the door far enough to show you. Okay, yeah, I can. So you can see, obviously you don't see up there either. So that saves me some trouble with taping up the roof and everything. It'll be a little bit easier. Uh, anyways, besides that, on the door, um, I'm running into the same issue I had on the, or the passenger side door where all this nasty sealant is leaking down and i'm sorry it's you know it's it's not technically you know it's not the right thing to do really i should take some some serious solvent and get all this off before i paint this but it's the bottom of the door nobody's ever going to see it it's just pointless for me to 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 paint it there to, to try and spend all these all this time going over this when you know even if it doesn't stick to this it's going to peel off of that and then it's going to, you know, it's going to be, it's going to peel off of that and it's it's not going to go any further than right here. So you're not going to ever see it. I'm not worried about it. The only thing I am worried about is the seam sealer down here did the same thing as on the passenger door. It started cracking up right around here, as you can see, and it just gets some rust in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the door panel off. Uh, disconnect all the wiring and then I'm going to pull the weather seal off and uh, once I do that once I get that off I got to clean up the overspray on the seal I actually must have did that when I painted the roof um, but once I pull the seal off pull the door panel out um, I'm going to scrape all this old seam sealer out of here and then uh, you know we'll convert this rust we'll put a new sealer in it and uh, we'll be on the way so uh, after that, hopefully I can get this scuffed down nice and quick, get that scuffed down nice and quick, and we can get this thing painted today. That'd be awesome.
Alright, so the rust is cleaned up, rust converter, etching primer, uh, and now I'll just put some new seam sealer in here. So once this dries up, probably in about an hour, we can come out and, uh, well, maybe not quite an hour, but we'll give it an hour. We'll come back out, we'll, uh, we'll get this sanded down and uh, start masking everything off. Well, while this is mass or while this is, uh, I'm sorry, drying, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to start masking up and uh, getting the door jam ready, getting everything prepped for paint on that end, and then um, come back to the door, get the door prepped for paint. All right, second coat of bases on. Uh, I'm probably gonna put one more coat on just to uh, just to be safe. I got a couple freaking bugs, of course, that landed up here, so I'm gonna surgically remove them and uh, clean up this tape line right there for some reason that got overlaid. And once I do that, then uh, put one more light coat over everything and uh, go ahead and clear it. All right. Uh, all the clear coat is on, two solid coats, well, three coats, I ended up doing one light one first, uh, and as typical, everything looks pretty good, and then a little hair falls in it right at the end, that's alright, uh, looks pretty good, quarter panel's done, now we just gotta do the front side of the door, the fender, and the bumpers, and the thing's done, so... Then it'll have to sit for 30 days and then wet sand and buff. Okay, well, I very carefully extracted that hair. I might have to do a little bit of touch-up. I don't know if you can see, I left a little dot, but it just went through the clear. So I took a touch-up brush and put some clear coat in there. So that should wet sand and buff out. And uh, a bug did end up landing right there, but it was in the top. I got it out, did the same thing over there. So it's getting pretty nice and tacky. Like it's not stringing anymore. Um, so anything that lands in it at this point, I'm going to leave alone. If anything at all. Uh, it's been like 10-15 minutes. Uh, maybe 20 now. And uh, you know, so far it's it's looking pretty good. So um, that's exciting. So I was worried it was going to be a pretty dirty paint job. But it turned out cleaner than I thought it would. So um, anyways guys. Uh, get this thing pulled in here let it let it cure for a little bit more we'll get it pulled inside and uh get this thing untaped all right guys ready to go as you can see i didn't really bother fixing this crap but the uh my concern with the uh the rust coming through here i went ahead and you can see how clean the seam sealer ended up coming out came out really nice did exactly what it's designed to do seal up the seam so that no moisture gets in there no water gets down in there um, this side of the car is done now and the door molding is also done so I'll show you that real quick there's the door molding it's not perfect but I mean it's as good as it's gonna get definitely looks better than it did and uh, I think it'll match half decent. Yeah, it's close enough. All right, guys, so that's going to finish up the video for today. Like I said, within the next few days, we're going to get this thing painted, uh, get the last couple parts painted, get them on the car. Hopefully have this thing completely done within the next week, week and a half, have the bumpers on and painted, have everything on the car and done. And uh, if that's all done, 
you know, then we can start, you know, working on figuring out how to get this transmission in. I got to order some mounts and that sort of thing. And, um, uh, I don't know what we're, we're trying. So, um, trying to put back money so that I can order this motor and start doing some motor work. And, uh, so it's, it's all up in the air right now. But anyways, I appreciate you watching the video as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.